This is a robotic egg cracker made totally from Lego bricks. And more importantly, this is the first step towards my McMuffin cooking machine. It's still in the works, so you're gonna wanna subscribe to see when that video comes out. As simple as cracking an egg by hand is, no matter what the infomercials show, it's so much harder to design a machine that does it for you. In this video, we'll be looking at why this machine works so well, and of course, we'll be marveling at a bunch of eggs cracking and separating with robotic finesse. But to see how I came upon the solution, we need to look back to my first attempt. 2019, I was a bit younger and a bit less smart with plans to create a McMuffin machine for my university capstone project. And the furthest I got was this prototype, where an egg would fall upon two dimes acting like blades, then a lever would come down and push the egg until it was penetrated, where then those blades would separate and pry the egg open. Turns out keeping those blades together under pressure was something I couldn't get past. Looking on YouTube, I'm not the only one who struggled with an egg cracker. This well-intended German guy couldn't do it. This guy had to use X-Acto blades of all things. And this guy, well, I couldn't get permission to use his videos, but I assure you it had room for improvement. Even look at the As Seen on TV product. While it definitely cracks eggs with ease. Did that seriously just work? The way each one has to be fit between these plastic loops is a weird maneuver for robotics, especially when it comes time to discard of the old shell for a new egg. And so two years have passed, and while I have no more reason to think that a pure Lego egg cracker is doable, in the name of my favorite fast food sandwich, oh, that is a good sandwich. Man, that is, wow. Man, oh man, oh man, yum! <laughs> I decided to try every way I could think of until I just ran out of ways to do it wrong. For your convenience, I've summarized weeks of building, designing, and planning in this 15 second montage. Here, are the inner workings. A lineup of eggs wait behind this press in terror, which, just like a real hand-powered press, is raised and lowered through a rack and pinion setup. In simpler words, this gear is slotted between the teeth of a gear rack, meaning when a motor turns the gears, it slides the press linearly or up and down. The machine starts by lifting the press letting the first egg roll into position over two Lego panels. But that can't happen until I have eggs in the house because I used them all up during prototyping. Turn to a green. Oh! Oh my gosh, I think that's my fourth grade teacher behind me. Wow. Truth be told, the frozen aisle has to be one of my favorites. Let's see. Make sure none of them are broken. I'd say that passes the test, no broken eggs. Oh yeah. Pro tip, if you're ever at the Dollar Tree and you want Takis, consider getting the generic version. You're gonna get a larger volume and they're spicier and they taste more limey, which is what I prefer in my Takis. Look at this. I'm not sure what I should say about this, but like, Y'all are conflicting though. Y'all are conflicting me. Moving on, the press lowers until the poor little egg is penetrated into those panels. This might look insignificant to you, but the moment I achieved this, yes, dude, that worked perfect. Felt like redemption. After all, Keeping the blades together under egg splitting pressure was the exact reason I gave up years ago. So the reason I succeeded this time is courtesy of a simple worm gear. There's so much to be said about this component, but in summary, it's useful for gear reductions and minimizing backlash. 
aka wiggliness between gears. I once used it for gear reduction in a coin pusher, where I connected a worm gear to a high speed motor to move the sliding platform a lot slower. But I never considered the perk of minimizing backlash in the context of Lego machines. So when I placed one by the gears holding the blades together, it made sense that the blades finally could not move until the motor controlling the gear worm is set off. Then the trash container slides into place by a rack and pinion setup, ready to catch the eggshell. Each blade is connected to a platform that rotates to pry the egg open. The contents plop into a tray or, in case my future McMuffin machine serves egg white delight McMuffins, separates the yolk and white with a grill. When the egg falls onto the grill, it's narrowly sloped so the viscous egg has enough time for the white and yolk to disconnect. To ensure success, these thin Lego bricks act like a blade at the end of the slope. Thankfully, the yolks by themselves aren't needed because plopping them into a drawer takes a while. By placing a divider in the middle of the drawer, the contents remain separate. The press moves up and down multiple times to shove the shell out in combination with the blades opening and closing to jostle out the trickier bits. Finally, the motor sets everything to their home positions for future cracking. So what's next for the egg cracker? Essentially, I'll be stripping away that pretty exterior to repurpose it in my bigger McDonald's machine. But I'll be working on another fast food machine in the meantime, I know, I'm a busy man. So I'll be uploading next, whichever one of those two builds is finished the soonest. Another one for me. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack the like button and subscribe button until your fingers are red like mine.